So I thought today would be a good opportunity for our citizens and visitors alike to get to know them just a bit. First, uh, William Green uh, beat a sitting uh, council person. Matter of fact, he is my city council person. And uh, William, congratulations, and just talk a minute about what your vision is and what you'd like to accomplish. Well, one of my first things that I'd like to accomplish, of course, is um, having town hall meetings. That's where I would get, uh, you know, speak to the individual, the individual would get to speak to me and uh, lay out the vision. Some of the other things that I ran on, of course, is the Merchant Association. I ran on uh, land banking as well as participatory budgeting. Participatory budgeting is where the uh, citizens get to actually choose what some of the projects that the money is actually spent on. So I'm looking forward to serving the people of District 5 as well as the people of the city of Montgomery. Well, that last one's going to be an interesting proposition. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll be interested to follow that one and see how we do it. We are, in fact, doing a lot more uh, transparency. Uh, uh, we've got Socrata, who is now working on a system that does allow our citizens to go straight to the data and be able to interact with it a lot better. And we're just on the front end of that, so we look forward to that and your uh, advice uh, along those lines. Brantley Lyons is uh, representing District 2, and um, he also uh, is not, he's replacing one of our longstanding district ones, but uh, Charles Smith chose not to run. But Brantley ran a great campaign, had to do a runoff. So talk about what your vision is for your district and the city as a whole. Uh, my, my thing from the very beginning was trying to uh, work towards the goal of trying to revitalize some of our business district, in district two, Coliseum, Federal Drive, uh, 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 Congressman Dickinson Boulevard, what have you. Where is the gap um, between all the different associations with Madison Park and Bell Red and Highland Gardens? We're trying to get great environment where everybody come visit and uh, become one, one community of development in different neighborhoods and just kind of keep, you know, work towards the goal of everybody wants a safe place to live and, and a clean environment to live in and just, and, um, and just bringing people together in our community. That's what, that's what I'm working towards. Well, that's a great goal. Unity is one of our watchwords that we'll be looking forward to working with you and your district and the entire city. You know, from a standpoint of the city council, you've got a defined area, but you also have responsibility, as I do, for the entire city. So sometimes there is some legitimate conversations and some give and take. So as you get sworn in this morning, we look forward to the next four years. Thanks for joining us. I'm here with Fred Pell, who uh, is a judge, actually, but a member of the community of Montgomery, uh, ran and defeated the incumbent. Uh, Fred's had a great uh, history. He's an attorney, and uh, we're delighted to be serving with you. Uh, maybe speak just a moment about what your vision uh, is for your district, but also for the city. Uh, well, you know, I think the one thing, if I can be a part of it, uh, I want to get rid of this racial divide. And if I can just be a part of that, that should show the world of Montgomery, black, white, um, straight, um, gay, lesbian, that we can uh, move Montgomery forward the way you're doing, the way, way we want to do it, I would just be happy. Specifically for six, though, I, I, I would like to see, and I'm talking to the mayor, I would like to see really the quarter uh, Southern Boulevard. I would, like, I would like to see that a little bit more appealing. But there's some small things that we can do. Um, like, um, I want to be an innovator for the, uh, the people, you know. We can't expect government to do everything. Government is supposed to do what government is supposed to do. But I just want to be an innovator. I want to be a person who uh, maybe you can sound on and maybe you can talk. And uh, let's move six, District 6 uh, the way it's supposed to be moved. Well, we're supportive of that. Inclusiveness, uh, unity is all of the things that we need to work towards. And we're just delighted for the next four years to be working with you. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. And congratulations to you, too. Thank you. Mayor Massimo Molini, mayor of our sister city, Pietro Santa Italy. He's been here for a few days. He's over here specifically for our spring in, but he's also doing a lot of economic development, both for his industry, marble, and the arts, as well as tourism. With, this is a opportunity to speak to the citizens of Montgomery. So what would you say to the citizens, inviting them to Pietro Santa and congratulations uh, on a new city council. Well, thank you so much for this invitation. For us, it's an honor to be here. Today, I dress the Italian flag for this important moment, this important moment for you, for your town, for your mayor. 
last and new mayor, former and new mayor. And thank you so much because in these days, in these few days, we met the most important person uh, in politics, uh, in economics de de development, uh, in tourism, uh, architect, designer, and things. Uh, yesterday night uh, we made this important exhibition in Montgomery Fine Art. So thank you so much to you for this opportunity. And uh, we wait you, if you come everybody, I'm very lucky, I will be lucky, in June with your mayor in Pietrasante in Italy, in Tuscany. Well, not only is he bringing the arts here, he brings physical fitness because at 7 o'clock he ran with our police academy and he put everybody under the shade. So congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank you for being here. In addition to the mayor, Piazza Santo, we have the vice president of the Senate of Tuscany, a very important position. He wanted to come and he's part of this delegation. So why don't you just say hello and uh, tell them how pleased you are to be here. Hello to everybody. It's a great pleasure for me to be here and an honor to represent the region of Tuscany and to say in bocca al lupo to our measure. Very, very pleasure and I hope that uh, Alabama, in particular the city of Montgomery, there is a strong friendship with Tuscany, with the city of Pietrasanta. We are here like uh, Tuscany to say in bocca al lupo and to support the mission of uh, the measure of Pietrasanta, Massimo Malegna. Grazie. Grazie.